All right, we got another uh, unboxing. This is kind of some basic, uh, um, nothing crazy here today. Um, this is kind of more along the lines of some first appearances that I wanted to pad the stats with, uh, but some good ones. Um, and it looks like JP. Oh, and this is from JP. I the, the first, the main book in this in this grab I saw um, on a claim Instagram claim post, um, and it hadn't come out yet. But I talked to the guy, and he's like, "Oh, it's X price." Um, it'll go live then I'll tag you that way. You can see it. I'm like, great. Perfect. I talked to JP about it. And JP was like, Oh, I have an extra one if you want. And it was a third of the price or two thirds, a third of the price off of what that one was. And not, not, I mean, this is not a crazy expensive book. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'll go with that. And then while we were at it, we kind of just went through a couple other, um, books that he had. So I was like, yeah, let's throw those in, pad the stats. Uh, let's see what we got. So I cut this open already. Let's uh, check out what we got inside. Gemini. Nice bubble wrapping, JP. Let's see what we got here. All right. So we've got three books. Let's see what we're starting with. Oh, okay. So first one, uh, I've told this story before, I think, on the channel, but it is X Factor 1. Um, so when I was a kid, me and my brother um, were collecting comics. We found a box of comics. Where's my dad had? I don't know how he had them, why he had them. But he had a box of comics. Uh, and in there, we found an X Factor 1. And this has been in the 90s. It was a book from the 80s. And we were like, oh, my gosh. This book from the 80s is so old. It's going to be worth so much money. And at the time, I think it was worth 15, 20 bucks. And guess what? It's still a 10 to $15 book because there are so many of them. You can see these anywhere. Don't pay up for it. Uh, just a nice copy. It is uh, a point because it's the first appearance of the X Factor team. Uh, and it's just kind of a cool first issue. Um, so a couple bucks. Happy to have in the collection. Next one up. Uh, well, actually, we'll skip that. We'll go to this one. So similar vein, right? Another fun one to grab. Uh, one I actually haven't had before. Um, but it is long shot number one, right? First appearance of long shot. Uh, I loved Longshot as a kid, um, especially um, from those X-Men cartoons. Um, and I never, actually never had his first appearance. And JP had a, had an extra again. And uh, again, this is not an expensive book. You know, um, so, you know, 10, 15 bucks, that kind of range. Classic kind of Art Adams art here. Um, so, yeah, Longshot number one. Uh, and then the last book, again, this isn't too long of a video here. Um, this is the book that started the conversation. Um, Again, not, uh, this isn't by any means like super high grade, but I don't need a super high grade for this. Uh, but I think it's a really cool book. Um, and what I had wanted before, I just never got around to getting. Um, and it is Marvel Team Up 65. So the evidence here is this is the first appearance in US comics and comics in general, because I'll explain it, of Captain Britain, right? And obviously this original uh, uniform of Captain Britain um, is much different than what he um change too. Um, I say first in comics and US comics. So Captain Britain first appearance obviously is in Captain Britain, Britain number one. Um, and it is like a magazine format uh, or it's just a bigger kind of book um, from the UK. JP actually found one with the mask included um, for 40 bucks, which was a crazy good deal. Um, so keep on the lookout for that. And it, it's kind of similar to ASM 238 with Hobgoblin. Uh, where for it to be, if you were to grade it, let's just say not that you need to grade it. Um, if it didn't have the tattoos inside, you'd get a green label because it'd be incomplete. Um, Captain Britain 1 um, would be similar, a green label, incomplete, if it did not have the mask with it, right? And obviously a lot of copies don't because kids took them out and used them and whatnot. So try and find one with a mask. Um, this copy obviously has no mask, but first appearance, U.S., and in comics, so uh, this is one of those nuanced ones in the first appearance challenge that uh, we will get a point for each, and I'll get one point here. Um, I was thinking it's a cool cover. Just put that out there. Uh, but yeah, thanks, JP, for the books. Good deal. That's all we got. Hope everyone has a good day. Peace out.